Our top story tonight, Coloradans are mourning the loss of a firefighter who gave his life in the line of duty. Ken Jones died fighting a fire at Copper Mountain overnight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kathy Walsh. Our Michael Abeda went to Summit County, where the community is honoring Jones's sacrifice. When a first responder answers the call for service, they know there's a chance they may not make it home. Saturday morning in Summit County, the unimaginable happened. And last summer, we were camping right over here in a campground, and his wife, Carrie, she, I don't know how the conversation came up, but she made the comment. She told their kids that if Travis ever knocks on the door at 2.30 in the morning, she's not answering. Deputy Chief Travis Davis knew firefighter Ken Jones for a long time. They were friends from working together. Jones had been with Summit Fire for 20 years. So when I knocked on the door at 2.30 this morning, the light came on and I knew she was on the other side of it. Um, she answered the door and she knew. Early Saturday morning, her husband and Travis's friend was killed on duty. Summit Fire and their partners were battling a condo fire in Copper Mountain. Ken Jones was on the roof and fell. He leaves behind two children along with his wife and a devastated department he gave his life for. It's going to be a community loss. We're going to do our best to keep this, this family that we've created up here over the years intact through these trying times. There is a memorial fund set up for Mr. Jones and his family. If you'd like to contribute, go to cbsdenver.com. We'll post a link to their website. In Summit County, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.